Hey guys, welcome to Medifaction. Today we will learn about the physiology of limbic system. The limbic system is a set of structures in the brain that deal with emotions and memory. It regulates autonomic or endocrine function in response to emotional stimuli and also is involved in reinforcing behavior. So let's learn more about limbic system. In this video, I will be enumerating an introduction, components of limbic system which include archaeocortical structures, paleocortical structures, juxtalocortical structures and also subcortical structures. We will also learn about the connections and some important functions of the limbic system. Limbic system is a complex system of cortical and subcortical structures that form a ring around the hilus of the cerebral hemisphere, as you can see right here. The word limbus means ring. It is also known as limbic lobe. Earlier it was called rinencephalon. In terms of evolutionary development, that is phylogeny, Limbic system is one of the oldest part of the brain and it is related to olfactory lobe. It is found as a prominent structure in fish, amphibians, reptiles and mammals. Limbic system is primarily related to emotional part of our life and is extensively concerned with memory. Components of limbic system the structures of limbic system are classified into four groups. Number one, archaeocortical structures. Number two, paleocortical structures. Number three, juxtalocortical structures. Number four, subcortical structures. Now let's learn in detail. Archaeocortical structures. The archaeocortex forms allocortex along with paleocortex. Archaeocortex is the phylogenetically oldest structures. It is concerned with memory. Paleocortical structures. The paleocortex is in between archaeocortex and neocortex. It is concerned with olfaction. Juxtalocortical structures. Juxtalocortex or mesocortex is situated between Paleocortex and Neocortex. Subcortical structure. Structures situated below the level of cortex are called subcortical structures. Limbic system includes six subcortical structures. Connections of limbic system. Connections of limbic system are complex. Following are the major afferent and efferent connections of limbic system. First of all, Fornix. It includes fibers connecting number one, the hippocampus right here and septal nuclei with mammillary body right here. Also hippocampus with hypothalamic nuclei right here. Number two, lateral hypothalamus receives afferent fibers from number one, hippocampus, septal nuclei, olfactory tubercle, head of caudate nucleus, pyriform area and also periamygdaloid area. Number 3. Caudate nucleus receives fibers from number 1 cingulate gyrus right here and number 2 intralamina nuclei of thalamus. Number 4. Brainstem reticular formation receives fibers from the hippocampus, the cingulate gyrus and Pape's circuit. Now let's see what is Pape's circuit. Pape's circuit is the interconnections between various structures of limbic system which form a complex of closed circuit. This circuit was described by Pape's himself. 
Hippocampus is connected to mammillary bodies of hypothalamus via fornix. This is the fornix and right here it is connected. As you can see, hippocampus is connected to mammillary bodies of hypothalamus via fornix. Also, mammary, mammillary bodies are connected to anterior thalamic nucleus via mammalothalamic tract. Right here, you can appreciate the mammalothalamic tract. The anterior thalamic nucleus is projected into cingulate gyrus through medial thalamocortical fibers. Right here, these are the medial thalamocortical fibers. The cingulate gyrus in turn connected to the hippocampus right here and the pap circuit plays an important role in memory encoding. Functions of limbic system. Number one is olfaction. Pyriform cortex and amygdaloid nucleus form the olfactory centers. In lower animals, the amygdaloid nucleus is concerned primarily with olfaction. Number two, regulation of endocrine glands. Hypothalamus plays an important role in regulation of endocrine glands. Regulation of autonomic functions. Hypothalamus plays an important role in regulating the autonomic functions such as heart rate, blood pressure, water balance, body temperature. Number four is regulation of food intake. Along with amygdaloid complex, the feeding center and satiety center present in the hypothalamus regulate food intake. Number five is control of circadian rhythm. Hypothalamus is taking major role in the circadian fluctuations of various physiological activities. Number six, regulation of sexual functions. Hypothalamus is responsible for maintaining sexual functions in both man and animals. Number seven, role in emotional state. Emotional state of human beings is maintained by hippocampus along with hypothalamus. Number eight, role in memory. Hippocampus and pape circuit plays an important role in memory. And role in motivation. Reward and punishment centers present in the hypothalamus and other structures of limbic system are responsible for motivation and behavior pattern of human beings. Hope you have understood the video. Like, subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.